The third, prioritize your issues is prioritizing your fun. Now, what do I mean by that? Prioritizing your issues, meaning we all know the worst thing we can do is spend time with somebody having fun, laughing, joking, and have underlying issues festering. Have this luggage that we're carrying around without solving the problem, but we're entertaining the person. If this is truly somebody you care about, this is truly somebody you say you love, this is truly a relationship you want, stop everything you're doing and start having the discussions. Start solving and working towards the resolution. Isn't it better to have some fun with somebody that's on the same page? That's one thing you want in life at all times. Somebody or your people that are on the same page. Because if the train is going in the same direction, then you're moving forward. But if everything's going in separate directions or parallel, you have a different destination. And the goal is to actually end up in the same destination on a regular basis. So with this concept of prioritizing your issues, meaning you're going to prioritize your fun, which ultimately, excuse me, prioritizes your fun, is basically explaining to you that your commitment or your conflicts is a part of your commitment. It's no point in being in a person's life when you think of them in a negative light. There's no point in them being in your life when they think of you in a negative light. There's no accountability. There's no relationship. There's no health. There's no quality of life. So think about that. I want y'all to look at this concept like this. When you have an issue, it's a stop sign. So just stop. Stop doing everything. Stop doing everything you have to do with that person and attack that issue. Because if you go forward, yes, you can run the red light, but you'll eventually crash. And overall, when you crash, the relationship will end anyway. So why keep a relationship or waste your time in a relationship where you can't resolve issues, where you feel like this person is not mature enough to get through an issue together, or y'all don't have a strong enough commitment to get through an issue together. I know they may think, oh, these issues always arise while we always have to talk. They may avoid the situation, but even in avoidance, it gives you an answer. Let's you know that they're not committed to relationship enough to resolve issues because nobody want to live in the issue. We want to enjoy our life issue free. So trust me, if you sit down, you prioritize your issues, you will ultimately prioritize the relationship and you ultimately have unadulterated fun. You will be able to have fun with this person without having underlying issues with that person. So I want you to think about it. The more you clear up your issues in your life and your relationships, the better your life will be, the better your relationships will be, the more accountable your relationships will be. So Make sure you prioritize your issues because prioritizing your issues are prioritizing your fun or is prioritizing your fun.